Hey guys, what's up? It's Zach here from Razzle Fang, and I'm going to be doing a vlog. All by myself, because Dakota's at school, unlike me. But, anyways, right now, we're going to be doing my top 5 favorite games of all time. Alright, first up at number 5 is Sid Meier's Civilization 5. Now, if you've never heard of the Civilization series, it's essentially a video game where you take control of a civilization and you bring it up from the basic stages of prehistoric time all the way up to uh, future time. And uh, it was developed by Fraxis Games, 2K Games, and Aspire? Spire? I never heard of them. Essentially, you take control of eight you can take control of any of 18 different civilizations including the uh, Germans, Americans, Arabs, etc, etc. There's a whole lot of them. And it's a turn-based strategy game that you spawn on a randomly generated map. You uh, start out your city, you can adopt policies, you choose wealth, what you build, military, all the things. You're essentially in control of the civilization. You can do pretty much whatever you want. And uh, your objective is to achieve a victory. And there's four ways, or five, four or five ways you can achieve a victory. Either by wealth, where you just, you get a certain amount of money. Uh, technological vi victory, which is essentially you research all technologies, you build a spaceship and go to a different planet. There's domination victory, where you take over all other civilizations, capital cities. And uh, there's one more that has to do with a utopia project. I've never gotten it before. I don't know what it is. Don't ask me. Good, pretty good reviews when it came out. It's fairly a recent game. It has single player and multiplayer. It has a DLC out, which I think just adds another civilization in, I think, Babylon. But don't quote me on that. Uh, and it has room for mods. If you go on the menu, a specific area where you can put in your mods or other people's mods, whatever you want. And uh, it's for the P PC, the Mac, and the Cloud. Cloud for games. So if you're a console person, you're out of luck. Number four of our list is Spider-Man 2. My opinion, the best Spider-Man game that has ever come out, ever. Ever. I mean it. It was developed by Treyarch and Activision. And the best part of the game is, well, you play as Spider-Man, who is possibly the best superhero ever, besides Batman. I'm a Batman fan. Open world New York, you run around, you can stop crimes, fight the bad guys. It actually has a really good story. It follows the storyline of the movie. And it actually has um, Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst, Alfred Molina, most of the original cast from the movie vo use their voices for the video game. Plus, like many of the other games, Bruce Campbell is the narrator. And Bruce Campbell is pretty f***ing awesome. But um, besides the main storyline, there are a bunch of side quests. They have, or side subplots not in the movie. They have a bunch of new supervillains. Doc Ock is the main one, but they have Mysterio, Rhino, Shocker, I think. Yeah, Shocker. They have the Black Cat in it. It's overall really, really good. That is the only game I pretty much played when I was younger, besides Battlefront 2, which almost made it on my list, believe it or not. But um, it received pretty good reviews. Uh, mainly a 7 out of 5, 8 in that area of 10, and it's for the game, hang on a second, GameCube, Xbox, PS2, PC, Mac, PSP, Game Boy Advance, the Nintendo DS, and something called the N-Gage. So, wide spectrum of consoles, if you want it, I have it for the PS2, I highly recommend it, go get it. And now at number 3, we have Minecraft. It's the biggest sandbox game at this point, in my opinion. It's gained a lot of popularity. It's not that old. I believe the Alpha came out in 2009, 2010, somewhere in that area. Um, it's a full game now. It, it's been available since Alpha, Beta. It's a first-person sandbox where you essentially you 
uh, you can build whatever you want. You can build houses and towers or bridges, castles, whatever. It's there for you. Also, it's an also a survival game where at the day you have to go out and collect your supplies, and at nighttime all these monsters come out to try and kill you. It's real. It's really good. Um, right now. They're having a Halloween update that's coming out, I believe. I've seen the snapshots of it. It's a really good update. Right now, it has a lot of stuff. Uh, and they're constantly updating it. So, you never know what's going to come out next. And they have snapshots that come out every once in a while where they'll show you what they're going to be updating next. Uh, oh, it was developed by Mahjong, which and Notch, Jeb, all those wonderful guys that has blessed us with the best sandbox game ever. It has a lot of room for mods and there's so many mods out there that you can just go in and install and it just brings an excellent gameplay. It was really designed well for that. It has a really good soundtrack that was made by C418. Um, excellent reviews right now it's only for the PC and the Xbox 360 arcade I don't know if they're gonna be coming out with with it for any other consoles but that's what it is for now I have it on both now just a warning the Xbox 360 arcade version is a few updates behind it's at the 1.8 beta up upgrade well update upgrade well right now the PC is at the 1.3.2 full game update so, and they say they want to bring the Xbox 360 version to a different level. They're going to hopefully bring in new designs. There's creative mode, survival mode, hardcore mode, which I highly recommend. It's not as hard as this hardcore mode sounds. I highly recommend it. Go out and buy it. It's fairly cheap, too, but I got it for about 20 bucks, so, there. Yeah. At number two on the list is Bully. Uh, the Rockstar game. It's an open world third person game. And you essentially play as a kid named Jimmy Hopkins who was sent to a private school, Bullworth Academy. And the main storyline shows him trying to take over the school, It'll take over all the different cliques, and just fighting all those guys. It's really good. There's a lot of missions. A lot of missions. You have the main storyline, then you have so many subplots and so many submissions. There's there's always something to do. You're never bored. It takes a lot to get 100% in the game, though. There's a lot of collectibles. There's a lot of side missions. But um, also, since you're in school, you can also take classes. You're, or you have to take classes. And I, I essentially call it the Grand Theft Auto version, only in school. So you're chased by the cops. You can commit crimes, you know. But they're it's really dulled down. It's a lot more for kids than obviously the constant Grand Theft Auto violence. It's a lot of good reviews. It's really good. It's a fantastic game. I enjoy it. It's for the PC, PS2, the Wii, and the Xbox 360. I have it for the PS2. I love my PS2. So many good games for that. And finally, topping off at number one of Zach's best games of all time list is Star Wars Republic Commando. Now, if you, it's a really, really fantastic game. It's my favorite game of all time. It was developed by LucasArts. It's a first-person tactical shooter. Uh, you also command a squad. What it essentially is, is you play as a clone squad leader, Delta Squad, and you command your squad, you go through three different campaigns, uh, Genosis, you go on a Republic ship, and Kashyyyk, and essentially you just complete those campaigns with your squad. It's amazing. It's a really intense gameplay, really dark, really eerie at times, especially Genosis. It gets really creepy. But uh, it is, it's really good. There's multiplayer, which is amazing. You essentially fight on either Trandoshan side or Republic side and just deck it out with each other. Really good maps for that. It's just amazing controls. Really good graphics for having come out in 2004. Uh, 2005, sorry. So, and it's the best Star Wars game up to this point. But what I really like about it is most Star Wars games, you're like, you run in Jedi, ah, uh, I mean, you know, Force, Power, Invincible. No, you're just badass clone troopers, which is amazing. And it's just really overall awesome game. I highly recommend it. Right now, it's for the PC and Xbox Mobile, which I don't really count as a game system. So yeah, it's just for the PC. Um, really good reviews, just overall an amazing game.
and I highly recommend. All right, and that was my list of top five games. Go out, find them, buy them, play them to death. All five are really amazing, and there's so many other games I wish I could have put on this list. They're just five amazing games. Most of them are really cheap, especially since a lot of them are older, so you're going to find them really cheaply. A lot of them are on Steam, and just amazing games. Just go out and buy them. I hope you found this pretty interesting. Um, sorry if I missed any games or if there's any info I didn't bring up. I just wanted to make this really brief. And hopefully, actually, sometime soon, Dakota will be able to do the same thing only with his top five games. So keep on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh, also, really quick before I go, if there's any games you want us to cover, maybe a uh, playthrough, we'll try to do that. It's a little more difficult with our computer and Xbox settings. Or if you just want us to do a review, just let us know. Email is in the description. So there you go. Thanks.